Hey everybody, um, in the winter we still have to feed bees, so we feed them until it's too cold for them to take syrup. Um, obviously we don't want to be able to hunt. But what I'm going to do today is uh, I've got all this wonderful stuff set up so it's like my own cooking show. I've always wanted to be you know, on TV cooking. Didn't think I'd be making simple syrup, but that's what I'm going to do. So in the winter time we make a two to one uh, mix. I don't care how you measure, a pound of water or a, and a pound of sugar, or a gallon of water, a gallon of sugar. One to one is one to one. Uh, you know, the issue is, is that we, we deal with water and liquid and sugar in, in, in pounds. So what I've done is I have an eight quart um, container, which is one gallon. Um, that is roughly, I, I kind of like these small bags. These are from the, from the local Aldi store. They're four pounds. They're a lot easier to deal with than dumping. You can get it a couple pennies a pound cheaper, like at, um, at Costco. But these are just easy to use. So you probably can't see, but, but four, 12 pounds is almost eight quarts, all right? So it's close enough. So I'm just gonna call that close enough to do that. Now, what I do have, I don't know if you can see, but I got a little bucket. I got this at our local uh, Weiss Market, so where they do cake decorating. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, two and a half gallon. I don't know how it's measured. But what I did is inside of there, I put a little two gallon mark. So that way I'm able to, dump everything and have it ready. So I'm gonna put the sugar in there. I got this jug, um, this, this I got it at Walmart. It was like about eight bucks. Uh, it's three gallons. Um, so I will measure out uh, two gallons of water, put it in here. The whole idea, because if you put three gallons of water and three gallons of sugar, you're gonna make four or five gallons. So the yield is what it is. These are cheap, get a couple of them, but I'm trying to make them in batches. Um, I always wanna try to make it the day before so that way when um, it has time to cool. So also I've got, I went ahead and got one of these uh, cool paint stirrers. That's my industrial mixer and a drill. So uh, it's obviously hasn't been used for paint or anything like that too. One thing I can tell you is sugar water gets everywhere. Uh, I'm doing this out on one of these cookers. Um, you can do it in your home. I don't think if you just got hot tap water enough, I think you need to boil it. Uh, or at least get it hot enough almost to a boil. You don't want to boil your sugar water because we're not making candy. So that's the whole plan. We'll see what we can do. All right, I got two gallons of water in here, one to one. Turn it off, it's not, it's not boiling. Um, dump your sugar in. Now this is a, this is a five gallon pot, so. Mixer. So that made, I don't know, four and a half, maybe five gallons. I'll show you folks um, what we got here. Nothing super exciting, but that's all it is. Now, got to be careful. See out there, beehives, sugar water, bees like beehives. So one thing to do is make sure you keep your area clean. Uh, keep it, I mean, everything is going to be sticky. You know, the problem is, is that you've got to put that into your, into your, your, your jug. So what I use, I went and got this funnel and got a little, uh, I don't know, a piece of plastic hose or pipe. So it'll set in there and won't fall in there. It's still, it's a mess getting this into there. I haven't found an easy way. I try to siphon. I try picking the pot up and dumping it. Uh, I think the easiest way now is to get a one or two quart pan and scoop it up and put it in the funnel. This way it's in here. You know, the fall here is going to be cool. In the summertime, you can't make this too far ahead of time because it will actually ferment and turn nasty and turn your jugs inside out. So, you know, that's the other thing too is you, once you get your, your jugs full and they're empty, you need to rinse them out. Here, because I have bees out there, if I leave them, the bees will come in here. So, um, even though there's, there's, there's sugar water in there too. So, that's how you do two to one uh, sugar water for feeding bees.